Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm gonna be showing you in this tutorial in easy steps how to make this classy lady beaded bracelet. It is a must wear on holiday special occasions and on the New Year's Eve and uh, if you still haven't subscribed with the bell it's a good idea to do this because I have matching earrings to this bracelet and you will be able to make beautiful sets. Please like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of super dual beads or twin beads whatever you have and here I'm using three colors of 11 seed beads red white and golden here I'm also using a clasp and two jump rings this is nail bond thread that is really close to the Naimo thread in size D 0.3 millimeters of thickness that I'm using it splits in two but otherwise it's a really good thread to use here I'm using size 11 beading needle and these are scissors, these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work. And now I'm going to take about 60 centimeters of thread on my needle, which is about 2 feet of thread and I'll be back. Okay my friends, and I'm starting my work by picking up 4 super juice and 4 11 0 seed beads in between them. Uh, pause and pick those up and then I'm sliding my beads down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it the usual way. I make a loop and go twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made. Then I pull and make just one more knot. Okay. Now this is what I have and I go through some beads in this direction. And what I want to do next is to reinforce my work, going one more time through all of those beads. Okay, and after I reinforce it, you see I'm exiting out of this inner hole of this two hole bead you see and what I want to do is to go through its other empty hole the outer empty hole of the same bead and I'm zigzagging through it like this you see then what I want to do guys is to flip my work in this direction because it's easier for me to go in this direction if it's easier for you go in the other direction but as I'm right handed I prefer to go like this okay then I take white super dual red 11 0 and white super dual and I go in the next empty hole of my following golden bead I repeat and if you have done the earrings it's pretty much the same the center of this element okay And this is the last step. I'm still going through the outer hole of this golden bead. Okay. Then in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go through the white, red and white one more time. If you want, you could reinforce again your work. And then I'm going through the empty hole of the same white I'm exiting out of just zigzagging through it and I need three red beads and I'm going in the following white and by the way you could again flip your work like this and I take three red beads again and I go in the next white three reds
And this row, guys, is really simple and really easy because I add three beads everywhere. Okay, repeat this until the end and meet me here. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Then I want to go here through the first red bead of my next three. Take three goldens. Skip the red one that's on my way and, I, and go through the following. Okay. Then I'm going through the white and my goal is to exit out of the next red one. The next of the three reds that are on my way. Okay, and I take three golden beads. I skip the central of those three reds and I go through the following red, through the white and through the next red. In this way I save one movement. I'm directly here where I'm ready to add my next three goldens and skip the central one and go through red white red and I'm in a position for my next three. Okay. And now guys I'm sure you will be able to finish this by yourself. Okay. And here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now guys, what I want to do is exit here out of this golden bead. Now my friends, I'm going to make another element like this one and I won't cut my thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I repeat this process, I have two absolutely the same elements. Okay, and I'll show you how I connect them and how I start my bracelet. Okay, in my first step, I take five golden beads. Okay, here I have five goldens. And what I want to do is go back like this through this golden. And here, guys, is where I will attach my clasp and I want to reinforce this you could reinforce it two or three times as many times as possible and when you're ready with the reinforcement go somewhere here make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop you've made. Make sure you are between those two beads where you started the loop from. Pull really tight and after that go through some beads in this direction and cut your thread. Okay? This is the beginning of my bracelet. If you, By the way, if you put an earring finding here, you could make a smaller version of the earrings that I showed you in my previous tutorial. So if you prefer smaller earrings, you could make them like this. Okay, then I take my next element, guys, here, this one. And I'm going to take one golden bead and this super dual bead in white color. I'm sliding those down. Then I'm taking another golden and I take this element and I want to connect it to this one at the opposite side where the loop of beads is. And that is why I'm going like this with this golden. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I take another golden and go in the other empty hole of the same super duo. Okay, now this is what I have and I take another golden and I go in the same place, the bead that is sticking out from my second element and when I connect them I have this. And by the way, 
you see what what I have here maybe this will be easier for you to to see it okay then uh, what I want to do is to reinforce this joint one more time okay and now what I want to do is to add some additional beads here okay I'm going through this golden bead and I take three goldens and I go through the golden that is on my way and also through the following if you can in one movement then in the next golden then I take three golden beads and I go in the following two goldens okay then in my next step what I want to do is go through some beads make a knot and cut my thread okay then my friends I'm going to make another element like this one and I will connect it here absolutely the same way like I did here and I will do this until I have let's say six elements and I'll be back okay guys and as I continued beading here I am at my last step where I just added my last sixth bead from this row and by the way you could turn this into a necklace if you want just put chain here or make a bead of chain and uh, what I want to do now as I just connected these two elements is to go through all of my beads in this direction and to reach the other parts of my element okay and I'm going to take five beads again and I make a circle of six beads in total because here I already have one bead and I'm reinforcing cutting my thread as before okay this is what I do and now guys uh, the only thing left here is to attach my clasp and I take this jump ring I open this one up I put it here I take part of my clasp I put it like this and I squeeze back really nice and tight okay and you could repeat this from the other side okay guys and now my classy lady beaded bracelet is ready it is a must wear on holidays on new year's eve so you will be prepared i guess with this work and don't forget that it's a good idea to subscribe because sometimes i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself 
support me by liking, sharing and commenting also in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.